what is going on guys welcome to your 85th draft tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called J color chooser now we're going to be building a program to make a box pop up and allow the user to pick their own colors and we're going to set this color equal to a variable and just going to be doing some cool stuff with it but this is a really useful application and we're going to be using this a lot from now on so you know it's going to be good so what we're going to have pretty much on the screen is a button and when they click the button they're going to be able to choose your color so let's go ahead and make a private variable for j button and now just name it b for button since i'm lazy and next we need a color variable so private color uh... let's just name it color color variable named color and we'll set it equal to um... the constant y if i can type takes a little bit but I'll get there eventually so now we have this color variable set to white and the last thing we need is pretty much a panel so private J panel and panel we'll just name it that for simplicity so we have three variables so let's start doing some stuff with it um, the first thing we're gonna need to do is build our constructor so name it public peach or whatever your class is and it doesn't take any parameters because it's constructor no parameters now let's go ahead and add a title and I'm in the title I cannot type today I apologize for that although I'm not really sorry suckers and now that we have a title let's go ahead and make our panel so take that panel variable you just made and set it equal to new J panel and again this doesn't take any uh, parameters either so now we have a panel on the screen pretty much well we didn't add it yet but you know we got it and next on our panel we want to set the background and this is pretty much the background of our window our panel so next we need to set a background color for it so set back bam look at that too easy didn't have to type anything next we want to set the background color and we're just going to set it equal to color and what this means is we're going to set the background equal to white since our color had the value of color dot white so now we pretty much got a panel chilling on our screen so now let's go ahead and add our button to the screen so b equals new j button doesn't take oh no. let's go ahead and for the text on our button let's just put choose a color because when they click the button they're going to need to choose a color so now we can add some functionality to this so b dot add action listener right there and is our arguments we're just gonna add an anonymous inner class and let's go ahead and just put something like new action I wish there was a way they didn't have to do this every time new action listener and again this uh, action listener must implement the method action performed and then we'll after this we'll finally get to the good stuff so public void action performed we did this enough hopefully action event event and now let's get to the meat of this tutorial finally so whenever we click this button what do we want to happen well the first thing we want to do is we want to change that color variable but instead of changing it to this just like a regular constant or something we're gonna let the user decide what they want to change it to so we need to put something called J color chooser and what this allows is the user to choose your color so just put show dialog right there and this dialog takes three parameters the first parameter is the position so just put null and if you put null it's going to appear in the center of your screen the second parameter is when you click this button um, a new box is going to pop up so what do you want the title of that color chooser to be just put pick your color and last the last parameter is the initial color that's selected and you'll see it's hard to explain right now because you can't see the box but um, just go ahead and put color right here so whatever the color was set as before then that's what we want to have so let's go ahead and change that and let me move this over just like that and now we're good to go but the one thing we have to watch out for is if they don't choose a color at all so if we give them the option to choose a bunch of colors and they don't choose anything we're gonna write alright if the color that they choose 
is equal to nothing and this is going to happen if they either hit x or cancel what do you want to do well we just want to take that color and set it equal to whatever color it was before or let's just go ahead and set it equal to white so if they don't choose anything then they got white so that's your fault if you didn't choose anything you're getting white and last but not least we need to change the color of our background so again the background is pretty much the panel and set background just like that and what do we want to change it to whatever color they chose so now outside our action listener let's go ahead and add everything to the screen panel and I know I guys didn't teach you guys about border layout but border layout dot center this means the panel is gonna appear in the center of the center of the screen next let's add our button and that was named B in border layout and let's just make this appear in south this means the button appears at the bottom of the screen set see you're getting like two tutorials for one in here set size of the window that's 425 by 150 and once I run this program you guys are gonna see what's going on set set visible and we're just gonna set this to true so it appears now let's run this so I can actually explain it a lot better and again don't forget to call your object and set default close operation set ok now we have this program that says the title choose a color again this box is white by default so now if I go to my code right here we're gonna go ahead and press choose a color now this is gonna pop up so we go ahead and choose a color like blue or something and press ok and now our background has turned blue and if we click it again choose a color change it to yellow and click OK now our background goes to yellow and last but not least if you choose it and hit something like X or cancel it's white by default so let me go ahead and I'll explain this if I can get my code to set up right there what this pretty much means you know what all this means let's get to the good stuff we change that color variable according to whatever they wanted to change it to and again we use that using J color chooser show dialog this is positioning this is the title of that window right here and again pick your color see that title pick your color right there and someone's calling me I'm not gonna answer it and then this color is when you choose a color it's what's selected by default so if you click red okay when you do it again pinks gonna be or reds gonna be selected by default and next what this pretty much does is whenever you pick a color it's gonna store that value in the return value for color so if you chose black now this color is gonna be set to the color black and so that's pretty much what that does J color chooser so then you tested if they hit X or cancel pretty much if they didn't select any color if they didn't give them white but if they did then we want to set that background equal to the color that they chose since that color variable will now equal whatever value was returned and then we pretty much just added to the panel in the center of the screen right here we added the button to the bottom we made the size of our window we set as visible so you could see it and then we called it so that's your real quick tutorial on how to use J color chooser um, in essence, whatever you pick right here is going to be stored in this variable. Bam. That's all you need to know. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're going to be using this in our couple tutorials from now on. So, um, make sure you learn it. And again, one more time, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.